from the station putting local first. This is KTSM 9 News at 6. Texas CPS saying there is a rise in pursuits in El Paso and now more troopers are coming to El Paso under Operation Lone Star. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natasia Paloma. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from the U.S. Mexico border and Shelby, what is DPS saying about this increase? Yeah, well, Natasha, Texas DPS saying that there are multiple pursuits happening every day here in El Paso, saying some of those pursuits end in the migrants jumping out of the vehicle and running. Now, DPS does say they do tend to see an increase in people crossing the border and getting into vehicles during the DPS troopers shift changes. I mean, a lot of people are staying away from calling it what it is. It's, it's, it's you know, it's cartel driven. It's money driven. Um, but they'll they, they have everything well organized, so we have to step up our game. Here you can see video from a pursuit that happened Wednesday morning near Mesa Street. Texas DPS say multiple pursuits are happening daily in El Paso. I'm averaging in the morning only, um, we got two to three, and then several going into New Mexico. Then we have some in the afternoon, not too many. But then at night time it picks up again. We'll have like two or three. This graph showing the rise in Texas DPS pursuits and bailout incidents along the border. You can see the number of pursuits are higher than what we saw this time last year. DPS troopers from all over the state are being assigned to come out here and help because we have such a big problem out here, which um, a lot of people didn't know about before it was happening but it wasn't as hot as it is now. Congressman Tony Gonzalez expressing his concerns over the number of pursuits happening in El Paso. Only a matter of time before innocent Americans get sucked up into this. Imagine if you're driving to the store to get eggs or you're picking up your kids from school or you're on your way to work and all of a sudden there's a high speed chase that you get wrapped up into. Texas DPS warning El Pasoans to stay vigilant out on the roadways with all of these pursuits happening. However, they do say if it is rush hour or they are heading into a school zone that they will call off that pursuit. But they do anticipate with the warmer temperatures for there to be more. And they say that the majority are happening in West El Paso. Reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Some good information 